Hello, everyone. I wanted to provide a uh, hopefully a short recording on um, some APA formatting tools. I just want to point out a few things and hopefully help you make things a little bit or uh, help help make things a little bit easier for you with your APA. Okay, so right now I'm on core. Okay, and so I'm going to click on resources, scroll down. Here's the libraries section. First of all, you can click on libguides. Libguides um, just has a lot of, of information um, for, for our students um, in terms of library resources, citations, um, guides. There's guides here for um, distance students, of course, faculty resources, all that good stuff. So um, just, just a lot of different things. But the reason I'm here right now for you guys is uh, the citation help. If you click on citation help and scroll down here to the APA 7th edition, um, once you're here, there's, um, there's, I, I love this um, APA style blog. There's some really great um, guidance there and it's done in a way that's really kind of simple um, versus, you know, sometimes trying to decipher the APA manual is very challenging. If you were familiar with 6th edition before and now are, um, you know, obviously using 7th edition, um, this is a great resource as well. It's actually what I've been using to kind of learn 7th edition guidelines. Um, it's a table and it's laid out really, really nice. So anyways, there's just, and here's some more um, uh, tools for you. These are, this is all part of this basic format checklist. These are all just sections of that checklist. And so, um, as you're developing your assignments, this is a great tool to use to make sure that everything is in APA format. Okay, all right, back up here. So um, here is a reference formats. So these are your reference page formats and here's it. These are great because they provide examples. And so uh, let's just go to, say I wanna uh, cite a journal article on a reference page. And so this breaks it down exactly what you need to do here. Um, it's really, really pretty nice. Uh, pay attention, you know, like I've been telling you guys to uh, use sentence case when you're uh, documenting the titles of articles. Notice here, this is sentence case with the first word being capitalized, italicize the name of the periodical or journal, italicize the volume, put the issue in parentheses, you know, all these good things. It just provides some good examples here. And then, of course, some further guidance. Um, here's an actual citation that they have laid out for you, and then it breaks it down um, by individual component. Okay. Oh, uh, quickly, sorry for the scrolling, but down here farther too, it gives you um, the parenthetical citation example, and then the narrative citation example. Okay. Um, one other thing, actually, while I'm here, just thinking of it. Note here that they are using past tense. So when you're when you're explaining what an author said or um, researchers said or what they found, try to use past tense instead of present tense. Okay. All right. Uh, back up here again. Then I want to show you in-text citations. In-text citations. Um, is another, it's set up very similar to um, um, the reference formats, except there's not um, a drop down menu here, but it does give you a lot of guidelines or guidance on um, different ways to, to set up your in text citations. But I love this table because in, it's actually in the AP manual as well. But here it talks about what you know, your first citation, your first parenthetical, your first narrative, your subsequent, what that looks like, but they're typically the same as you get to, um, you know, a group of authors in, in different things down here, but three or more authors, note that you do not need to list out all the authors surnames in your in-text citation that has changed. And so you please use the at all. Okay. Note also the punctuation here. There's just a period after all and then a comma. Okay. And then there you go. All right. And then here's some more examples too, to just basically to reiterate what was above. 
Okay. All right. So enough with core, um, or sorry, enough with this lib guide, I should say. I'm going to go back to try to go back to resources here in core. Um, and then I want to show you kind of a, a nice trick. Okay. So I say that I'm, I'm looking for an article um, to complete an assignment and I'm going to use solar. I like solar. Um, that's usually my first, my go-to. Okay. So let's just take, for example, let's just search um, for articles on the topic of healthcare ethics. Okay. So uh, let's let's just say, for instance, that your instructor told you it needed to, you needed to use only peer review peer review journals. And they had to be 20, uh, 2016 to the present. Okay. So over here, you can see your filters off to the left. Here you click, click your um, peer reviewed articles. So it'll just show you those. Then you can use this little slider here to change the date and um, apply that filter. Let's see if I can get it. I don't remember what I said. I think I said 2016. <laughs> and then I, a lot of times, am searching to for full text because if you don't search for full text, um, so you're going to get everything. And um, I mean, you can request articles through interlibrary loan, but that sometimes takes takes a while. And so um, if you can get, if you can find something with full text, all the better. Okay. So, um, you can, of course, filter even more um, using, using these tools down here, okay? But these are the, probably the most common um, ones that, that, um, that I use anyways. Okay, um, I'm just going to pick an article here. I'm just going to select the second one. All right, so you review the article, the abstract, if you want, you can sure look at the article, click over here. I usually go for the PDF full text. You can look at that. Okay. Yep. This is an article I definitely want to use. There's great content here. You can then use this great um, tool over here um, off to the side. It's site. Okay. Click on that. This is going to give you your reference page citation. Okay. So here it is. You can simply copy it and then paste it. But what I want to show you is, um, let's see, I need to pull up a Word doc here. Where's my dissertation? <laughs> uh, go new. Course, not my other, there we go. So I'm hoping you're seeing, seeing my Word doc here. Um, and so I'm going to paste it. But I will give you a heads up. Obviously, uh, there's some issues here, right? This isn't completely formatted in um, APA style, right? But it has all of the elements that you would need for an APA reference citation, okay? So we're gonna go, hold, we're gonna double space. You also want to indent that second and all the following lines. Okay, this looks good. Your authors, there's the year. Here's your, here's your title. Okay, I noticed right off the bat, capitalization. Okay, so I'm gonna quick do that, change all these to lowercase um, for to abide by that sentence case. Um, guidance, okay. Then we have here Hastings Center Report. This is like the journal. And then we have our volume. Those are italicized. And that's it. You're good. There's your reference. And so your in-text um, citation would be Bruce, no CR, do not include the initials on your in-text citations comma 2019. So I'm going to show you 
example of that. If it was a quote, you would um, do and then the page number. Oh, yeah. P. All right, so that's my my uh, handy dandy trick for the day. Um, um, the other thing is, I believe you can if you're if you're a student using EndNote, I believe you can export your um, citation to um, to EndNote here. That's a way to um, um, actually right here. It's included too. I'll be honest with you, I don't use EndNote very much. I'm more familiar with RefWorks and mainly because that's who I did my, uh, what I used for my dissertation. And so, um, but EndNote is a great tool as well to help you develop your um, reference, reference listings. Um, basically gives you the same citation that you have right here. So you still have to modify it and things, but it's just a, another way to um, kind of collect those if you are working on a large research paper. Okay. All right, so that's everything for tonight. I'll keep try to keep this this short. And um, if you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to reach out to me at any time. Okay.